All right, and I guess we're starting now. So, hello everybody. Welcome to Dawn of Man playthrough. This is a yeah, a great game. Came out in 2019 by Madriga Works, which is, I believe, just two Spanish guys that, uh, that make this, and then they they are a few artists otherwise. But otherwise, this is the game. Anyway, so as you can see, opening screen. We're gonna go new game, Continental Dawn. Uh, boom. Now okay, we're gonna go Forest River, and we're gonna set this game mode to hardcore. Which allows only one save game, game cannot be paused, other tribes progress at their own rate, large amount of raiders, regular animal aggression, and compared to normal, um, hardcore actually gives you a bit of a challenge. Still not too challenging. So we're going to change our settlement name here to, um, uh, let's call it Ask Clown. Boom, that's our town's name. Okay, so we're going to go on the Forest River, there's all these different places you can start, but this is by far the best place. And yeah, we're gonna get into this game and we're gonna play. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna see how fast I can beat it now. My goal is like four and a half hours, so we'll see if we can get it done. Okay, so you start off with these seven people here. First thing you wanna do is you wanna hit tab and see what kind of animals are around you. Okay, so we got the Mega Serlos, whatever things. Uh, Mega Loseros, uh, I don't know. Can't really uh, say that for some reason. Every time I try, it just doesn't work. So what you wanna do is you wanna, this is the, uh, the uh, primal vision mode, which allows you to highlight anything that you can actually interact with. So I'm going to select all these guys, hold down H because I'm on computer, and this selects all the hunting people. And they're going to go over and kill this guy immediately. And uh, just do this because, hey, it'll help you out later on and help you get stuff done. Uh, gives you bones and meat and skin. So, yeah, that needs to be done. Second thing I'm going to do is place a work area. First thing we need is to gather some sticks, and this is the closest one. Let's see to expand that as big as it can. Go like that. Have two people do that. You can have kids do that, so it works great because, hey, child labor is always awesome. And, uh, you know, this way. Oh, come on, you guys. Go get that fucking Mega Slurros, whatever thing. Come on. She's an old female. You got her. You got her. Come on. And one more. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now somebody's going to go butcher that up and we're going to get some skins from it. Got a one knowledge tech because hey, that's the first one we hunted, so that's pretty awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna get our primal vision now. Ah, okay. So yeah, this is the the starting area. This is great because we get to build a bunch of fields over here and everything. And uh, across the river is nice flat land for building more fields, so that comes in really handy later. But for now, we're just back here at our camp. Now currently we've got seven people, and these tents can only have three people each. So first thing we're gonna want to do is build another tent. So I'll go like that. Boom, that's there. And that takes sticks and skins. And, uh, yeah, they only have raw hides from here because we don't have any, uh, things to dry out the skins. So we're going to do that now. We're going to build production skin dryer. All right, cool. So we're just going to build, uh, four of these at first. And that only uses sticks, so once these people have gathered enough sticks, we'll, we'll have that. Um, hmm. You know what? I might send three or four people over here. Send five. Okay. You want to keep this workload under 150 at all times. If it goes over 150, it starts screwing up the game, and your people just aren't doing tasks as fast as they can. So that kind of messes you up. So you want to always keep that under 150. Pretty much no matter what. Um, at the starts of seasons, it'll go up. Um, but for now, that's good as is. So we also need to gather some flint, so I'm gonna set that right here. Which is, you know, the gather flint thing. Work area. Obtain flint. They can just grab from these rock piles, so only need one person doing that. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build some storage. Now, we don't need a storage tent yet, because frankly, we just don't have enough shit for it. But we're gonna need a rock pile for all that flint. So I'm gonna put that right here. And we're gonna have more sticks than, uh... You can shake a stick at. So we're going to just add another stick pile. I'm going to put that right there for now. Okay, so now we're out over 150. So I'm going to hold off till they get these things done. And, uh... Yeah. We still have to come out over here and uh, gather up this raw meat. So we'll let them do that. And yeah. Now, when you're in these kind of lulls, uh, things can, you know, get kind of boring. So you can always speed it up by hitting four, 
or time say it, so these guys will kind of do their stuff here. Set them to build this one first. Set that to high priority so that way they're putting all the sticks they get on that. And then we'll be able to start drying out those skins so we can make that next tent so we can actually grow in size. I'm going to slow it down now because we've got to set up a few other work areas. So yeah, there's obtained stone, collect and harvest wild plants. Don't really even need that one right now. We will need some fishing. Now you can set up hunting areas. I don't like to because they just never seem to work out. And you'll have a guy chase a fucking goat all the way across the map with it. Um, it's much easier just to kind of go into Primal Vision and specifically select, you know, go attack this pig here or whatever. Um, or, you know, that horse over there. I think that, oh, it's a donkey. Okay. So, yeah. Um, so, I just always found it easier to do that. But you can automate the hunting also. However, what we are going to do, we've set up a little flint area. We're going to set up collect and harvest wild plants. Now, it's spring, so they can't really harvest anything except tanning, which we don't even have yet. So, I'm going to set this right here. And then come the spring, once again, using child labor, the kids can go and collect berries from the blueberry bush. And, uh, you know, cherries from the service tree and, and so on like that. Um, it's where kids can only do certain tasks in this. Um, because otherwise, they're, it's just, you need to have adults do it. So I'm going to set up these things here. And just that way, uh, you know, we'll have these kids gathering this shit up. And, uh, yeah. Anywho, um, I thought I had my phone off here, but apparently not. So there we go. Now you won't hear any beep, beep, beep again. Ah, so we're going to go to Primal Vision. They're still going to be collecting them sticks. I'll have them build this one next. And I'm going to actually speed it up a bunch because we don't really need anything being done here other than building this shit up. Oh, should set this up. So we're gonna need the crafter to start crafting this stuff for us. It's a bit face, it's like a knife, but like an ancient knife. They used to make that by like clanging two rocks together and getting a little shards off that. And they'd use that to skin animals and cut up meat way back, way back when. Um, and yeah, we can make wooden spears and wooden harpoons. Harpoons are for fishing and fighting. These are, you know, very basic beginning things. We also have a skins outfit thing going on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change our related resource limits here a bit. Now this is, uh, you know, setting it to how many they're supposed to craft total. Now we're going to want 150 of these because these skins are really good for trading. Especially in the beginning. Eventually they're only worth one dollar, but at first they're worth ten, which is great when traders show up, so you do want extra of those. Spears, we're going to keep it at a hundred for now. Not Bit faces, we don't need that many. I'm going to set that down to fifty. Uh, because we just don't need that many. Same thing with the fishing harpoons. I'm going to set that down to uh, twenty-five, because we really don't need any. Axes, I'm going to change this over to just five for now, because we won't even need those for a long time. And same thing with uh, picks here. We'll need that many sickles, though, when it comes time to build sickles. Uh, I'm also going to set up to 100 bows and arrows, because those are also really valuable and really useful. And slings, probably not going to build too many for a while, but, you know, I'll set that up to 100, so whenever we do get them, we can make them. Anyway, so yeah, they're saying no storage slots left, because the tents have used all of them and whatnot. But yeah, once summer comes around, they'll start collecting stuff. And we have almost enough knowledge to buy something. So, once that comes around, I'll go into details on that. Now they're about to build this other uh, tent here. Uh, how many sticks do we got? We got four extra sticks. Okay, well, good news is we got a bunch of skins drying out, getting ready there. See, once they get up to there, it becomes a dry skin and we can use that for the tent. Well, let's see if we can kill some other animal around here. Okay, as you can see, they come in different colors also. The green ones are the easy ones. Yellow ones, kind of moderate. Yellow ones won't attack you, though. Orange ones are rather difficult to kill. Uh, sometimes they attack you, not this baby woolly rhino. And then, of course, there's the adult woolly rhino. She, if we attacked her right now, she would kill one of us. So we don't have the, the ability to take them down. So there's that. There's also this uh, female cave lion over here. And she's going to become a problem. So we're going to probably have to send people over to kill her. 
Um, she generally won't be able to kill an adult, but she will kill your children. So, yeah, you know, um, you, you just got to deal with it. Anyway, so we'll keep an eye on her. Might as well speed things up for now because we've got nothing else to do except gather sticks and build this tent. Come on, finish building. All right, there we go. So we got us another tent. So now we can have up to nine people. But, you know what, we might as well just build more tents right now. So I'm going to build this tent here. I like building my tents in a row. You'll see my kind of design after a bit. But yeah, we'll get two tents ready to go there. They'll keep gathering them sticks. And they'll keep gathering flint. Which I've set to infinite. It just means they'll gather all the flint they see in whatever area I've set it to. And it's... Flint's useful for the first, about half of the game. And then it becomes useless. So you might as well just gather up as much of that as you can. So we got the crafter here. Really just picking up sticks. Classic game. Ooh, I'm tempted to send people after her right now, but if she's gonna leave, might as well just let her fuck off. Don't risk anybody getting injured. I'm going to select all these people. I'm going to choose some. Okay, so we got four here. I'm going to send them to kill this baby pig right here. And you know what? If things slow up, we can actually probably kill more than just that little baby pig. But. Okay, got two of them. Let's see if we can send all four of these guys over there. Oh, no. That one's ran away. Okay, and unfortunately these guys need some food and stuff, so we're just going to let them chillax and uh, go get that. Okay, we also have five knowledge, so now we can get our first tech. Damn, 250. Okay, it's 250 because I've got these two tents being built here. And uh, these these boars to butcher up here. So, I'm going to turn that down for now. And uh, just these guys do do their thing. And they're trying to craft skins also. Okay, well, whatever. They'll deal with that. Okay. Now, next part is there's all these things. Bone tools, sling making, food drying, dog domestication. Dog domestication is nice because they'll generally take the first hits. Dogs automatically replenish themselves, so you don't really have to worry about that. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to domesticate dogs first, I think. Oh, no, we got all those bones. We got too much room. I'm going to go bone tools first. So... Bone tools gives you, of course, bone harpoon, bone spear there. So what you want to do right after that is go over here to your crafter and quit making the wooden ones because these are crap compared to these ones, which is, as you can see, twice as good. And twice as good for fishing, just same thing for hunting, so go like that with those and make those continuous production. And yeah, now we get to start using the bones that we've collected. Another thing you want to do is here, manage. This has a lot of your, your important shit in it more. You can see all this shit here. So... Stats, resources, limits. Resources is good just to see everything that you got, but limits is what we're going to go into now because we're going to adjust some of this stuff around. Okay, so this says once we have 100 meat, they'll quit gathering meat then. Once we have 10 fish, they'll quit gathering fish. Unlimited vegetables and pulses, uh, which is like berries and stuff from trees, uh, and then peas and stuff later on. Um, unlimited grain, you want 20 flour, so this means they'll only mill 20 flour and then they'll only bake 20 bread. Otherwise, they'll leave the grain as grain. That's okay to leave that set like that. This means we'll gather unlimited milk from our goats and cattle later on when we get them. We'll process that milk into 20 cheese. We'll only collect 20 water once we start collecting water. And we'll only make 10 beer when we start making beer. Um, this I like to set my logs up to infinite also, so that way they'll just keep logging an area. And same thing with the stones, get that done. With the bones, I'm going to say infinite because they might as well just keep gathering it. Same thing with the raw raw stuff there. Um, I'm going to set this up to 25. I like to set my leather up to infinite because that becomes incredibly useful later on. Tanning, I like to go up to 25 just so that 
That way there's a bunch extra. Mud, I like to go 50 because that way you don't have to worry about mud when you're building buildings later on. Once again, this will all come into... Come into... Being needed later on. But for now, in the city of Ass Clown, we... It, it, this doesn't matter. But, might as well just set the stuff up here. So this way they'll make 20 wool. Always need as much uh, linen as possible. Uh, that becomes very important later. I like to go 20 for my charcoal. I'm going to go 20 for this. Only 10 for my tin because once you start using tin and copper, you need twice the copper per tin. So you can make bronze there. Um, iron, I'll set up to 50. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Something's fighting here. Oh. Okay. Um, we're probably going to have to deal with that fucking mountain lion now. As much as I don't want to. But if we don't, she's going to come kill us. Or kill one of our kids, so, yeah. Get all four of them gathered up to there. Okay, and then they're going to take her on. Okay. Had to get her out of there. Alright, and we'll also get that. So, it's a bunch of extra work right now. Oh, it's also summer, so yeah, all the kids are harvesting, like, uh... You harvest chestnuts in the fall, but they're going to harvest all the blueberries and service trees and stuff, so that's going to take up a bunch of extra extra tasks for now. Anyway. Anyway, back to resource limits, because that cave lion attack was uh, kind of scary. Had to deal with that, you know? It's uh, one of those things. Ooh. We unlocked a milestone. I'm going to click on it and I'll go into the big thing. Oh, what a beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. Oh. An incredible moment in human history right there. The history of Asklon. Okay. So we'll look at that milestone there. That's hunting and gathering. Accumulate three units of raw meat and three units of berries. Okay. Well, they, they collected the shit out of those berries. Anyway. Um... Moving on. Gather them sticks in a bit. But, uh, yeah, we'll just let them keep going. Okay, I'm going to keep going with the resource limits here. Um, I'm going to change the animals way later on once we actually start getting animals. I'm going to set these carts up to 25 because you don't actually produce them for quite some time. I'll leave those both at 10 for now. I'm going to set swords up to 75. I'm going to change this around to just having, uh, five, uh, fishing implements for now. Shields will up to 10. Once again, these ain't going to come into uh, the view for probably a few hours right now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave these at 10. Actually, this I'm going to set up to an infinite because you can always use more steel. And why are these guys coming near me? Oh, you know, I want to kill them, but might as well just leave them be. We've already got more than enough stuff. We're still at 250 for our tasks. Like, as you can see, like, the workload is incredibly high right now. This dude's gonna make some skins and a bone harpoon. Oh, we get more text. Okay, I can go composite tools, which is nice. We'll get axes and picks and stuff, but we don't really even need those right now. Question is, what do we actually need? Food drying will come in probably most handy, or slings. Um, dogs are also quite helpful, but we're going to go food drying for now. And for that, I'm going to do this right now. Build, production, food dryer. Now, I like to set my food dryers right here. You might be like, well, that's a weird fucking spot. Uh, guys can walk under it. It should be right near everything you have. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to just build it right there. That'll take 10 sticks. What that does is it allows you to dry out fish and meat. And with drying out fish and meat, uh, your guys uh, can have it preserved for a long time, and you can also sell it to the trader when they uh, come to town. So I'm just going to speed this up because we got nothing else to do right now. I'm going to build another tent right here. Once that's built, I'm going to recycle that tent and then build another tent right where it is because, hey, we, uh, we don't need that tent right there. We 
getting all this fucking knowledge right at the start. This is pretty awesome. Let's see, have they, uh, they've butchered all those already? Okay, cool. Well, let's take a bit of a look around. A looky-loo, if you will. Let's see what's here, okay. Should probably go kill that pig there. But we'll just let them uh, do their thing for now. Get more stuff. No, I don't even have to deal with that right now. Might as well just leave it. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we're at two hundred percent work tasks. That'll drop down and probably go up again right when the fall hits. Okay, so fall 183, because that way, you know, they can't harvest the berries anymore because they can only be harvested in the summer. Yeah, but they can harvest chestnuts, like, from this tree now. So, yeah, we got more knowledge. Um, I'm just going to get dog domestication. They protect you from things like those mountain lions. So I'll hold on to that for a bit. And uh, that way, don't have to worry about building new shit. Okay, so now our tasks are dropping down again. Um, our food dryer is probably full right now, so I'm going to build another food dryer. Boom. See, and like, this is why I want to move that tent around, is because I can't put that there. But I can put it there or there. I'm going to put it right here between these two. And everybody's still gathering sticks. Make sure there's no predators around. Oh, we got a lot of fucking good game right over there. Just sick game waiting to be played. Um, I mean, it's tempting to go kill one of these reindeer because that'll give us another knowledge and stuff. But for now, we'll just let the guys do their thing. Actually, let's look at what we... Uh, you know what? I'm going to start building these things now. Okay, so you want to go spiritual... I'm gonna build some skull poles. Now, why build the skull pole? Well, who doesn't like a skull pole? This improves your group's morale, and I like to build six across there, so that's gonna take six bones, six fur, uh, and six sticks. So, once that's uh, up there and, and all good, uh, it'll give us, you know, two total tech. And we're doing really good for food right now. the hell were you doing down there? Oh, you're gathering a chestnut, weren't you? Oh, probably from that tree. Oh, no, it's a service tree. Where the hell were you? Were you over here gathering chestnuts? I'm oh, probably getting some water or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Let's see how many sticks are left here. Oh, there's plenty of sticks still. Okay. Because when you need more sticks, you just set one thing up over here and... The guys, go grab it. And yeah. Set everything out. Hmm. Okay. Actually, you know what? I can gather up all these guys. Okay, I'm going to send a hunting party after this boar right here. Yeah, I need to hunt that Ibex, too. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Actually, you know what? I'll just send you two over to kill that Ibex. How many flint do we have? Seven? Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, there we go. Still killed the Ibex. Oh, yeah. Just turn the speed up now and... Let them build these skull poles. Yeah, so, here, I'll explain other shit about guys. Okay, so this is Gregor. He's an old, or, gro 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 Gorgor? Oh, we'll call him gro, -Gro. So, gro is an old man, so he's gonna die sometime soon. Um, being old means they only have five slots. Compare that to, like, this young adult. Uh, adult woman, she's got three slots. Uh, for stuff and... Oh, here. 
Uh, don't go in the tent. Okay, cool. So he's got three slots for carrying stuff. These are two items that he can carry. So he's got a bit face and a wooden spear. So he can fight shit. And then this is the whatever skin outfit he's wearing. You got leather and wool and linen later on. I think armor goes there also. And then there's three slots that they can carry stuff because he's an adult man. Whereas the child has one slot to carry stuff, one slot for skins. Uh, they can't use any tools or anything, so... Yeah, they can basically cart stuff around very slowly. Um, the old man, which I think... Uh, no, just adult men left. Okay, uh, the old man's resting in the tent now. Um, you know, let's uh, select all y'all. Oh, we got 200% tasks. Damn. Dude's still gotta build that, huh? Hmm. Okay, you know what? Nah, I'm just gonna leave that. How are they at 200% tasks? Is this all fucking gathering sticks? Oh no, the dry skins are crafting. Still, oh, so somebody's got to go grab those dry skins. Okay, yeah. Oh, and we got an old man going to get stuff. So yeah, as you can see, the old man has two slots here. Then you have these other things. Health, um, that'll go down if they get diseased or if they get injured by an animal attacking them. Nutrition, food, of course. Hydration, water. Temperature. This becomes an issue in the winter if they don't have, say, skin outfit. Or if there's a blizzard going on or whatever, then they need to, to go to a tent or whatever. Um... Stamina. Uh, it's like their running ability. So if they get attacked by something, they, they'll run away from it and shit. And yeah, it takes that down. Uh, or if they're chasing after raiders or chasing after some game, that, that goes down eventually. Rest, uh, that's, you know, them going to uh, the tents and stuff. And morale, which is uh, why we're building all these skull pools here. You want to keep those up as high as you can because, you know, they work faster and better with that. Um... But realizing people have to go, you know, fill up their morale and stuff, and rest and everything. So you want stuff kind of centralized for them to be able to just run to, sleep, and then go back out and do more stuff. So you don't want to build a bunch of tents over here and then have your, you know, uh, morale stuff over here. Because when they need to get their morale back, they'll have to take all those steps over there. And, uh, you want to make it kind of efficiency-wise. You want to do kind of an efficiency expert thing. Where you make it so that they have to walk as few steps as possible. So, oh, well, we're still at 200%. I think it's all these skull pools here. So, well, we'll let them uh, go about their business. Want to kill those woolly rhinos because they have a shitload of skins and stuff on them. But. You know, they're just, they're too powerful right now for us. So, oh, we got somebody walking here. Is this the traitor? Okay, there we go. We got a traitor here. So we'll grab that bone for sure. Okay, his commission's high, so, uh, you know, like this bone is only worth two, but it'll be 150%, so it'll be three. So this will be five, so it'll be like probably seven added, yeah. But then this will be eight because, you know, the 50%, right? So, um, do that trade straight up. Uh, we can't really use the wooden stuff anymore, so we might as well sell those off for whatever we can get from this guy. Let's see, if I can get all that. Hmm. Sell one bone harpoon. That kind of replaces that bone there, but yeah, it, this should be worth it. This is a good trade. Uh, gets us a lot of stuff. Give people a chance to craft more shit. And, uh, gets us a bit of food. We'll just let people go until they build these things up here. Okay, I'm going to set a new work area, in this case fishing. Now fishing wise, we're going to go right here, but we're going to try to get three blocks in this thing. So we'll go like that. Now they'll fish from these three blocks. One guy will try to collect up to ten fish there. So we'll let uh, Grogor, or Grogro, go do it. I don't know why I'm going to call him Grogor. I mean, Grogro just sounds like... I mean, that's what I'd call a caveman. You know, Grogro. That's caveman-wise. Let's, uh, let's focus on him for a while. Let's see what he's up to. Get out of this, uh... You know, let's get out of that. Don't want the primal vision on and not in the, uh... Fascinating thing. Or, uh, the... Close camera shit. Anyway. Um... 
So that's missing a bone, that's missing... Okay, oh, they're done with the sticks for now. Okay, so we're gonna hunt a reindeer now. I'm gonna collect these. I don't think they can take an adult reindeer. Um, he'll probably run away too fast. But you know what? Might as well go for one of the, the kids here. I mean, they're right next to the camp, so this is, uh, efficiency expert-wise, way less steps. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna send them to kill this last one. Yeah, yeah, she's too strong, so I'm going to cancel that. Okay, and we'll just let them uh, harvest from these three guys right now. So what? Uh, two meat, one skin, one bone. Four meat, two skin, one bone. Okay. See, if she comes past the camp again at the right time, I might be able to uh, get a quick kill on her. But everybody's going to be out getting skins and stuff right now, so... Okay, wait, let's see. Oh, we'll see how many hits she can get in. Okay, yeah, there we go. We got four. Now, if we get that fifth one done, then we get an extra tech point, so... Ah, uh, they fucking ran off. Hmm. Probably go kill that. Yeah. Oh. Um. Well, we'll kill that one later. I mean, we got too many tasks to do right now, anyway. Oh shit. Okay. Where are you guys at? Okay. There we go. Got five. Oh. And collect a bunch of bone stuff. I'm gonna go with dog training. Just so they can help us hunt. Uh, they do an extra like one or two hits and they also chase really fast. Lots of that. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. They become quite helpful. This was an add-on that they did this game uh, a while ago where they made it so you could have dogs help you hunt. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. We got a bunch of people joining our fucking group now. Another four people. That'll help us out. Okay. Next thing I'm gonna do is uh, build a tent over here. So yeah, I like to build mine in, like, rows like this. Maybe it's... I don't know. For some reason, I just like it. So, that's how we're doing it. The next thing I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to up the number of sticks that we're gathering to 30. Which will unfortunately boost that up over 150, so that kind of sucks, but... Um... Yeah, it'll, uh... It'll work itself out. Oh, and we got another knowledge thing. So, what should we build here? Oh, uh, we can use tanning or sling making or... I mean, we're almost at composite. Yeah, let's get composite tools. That way we can start using some of this flint. So, once you get composite tools, you can start using flint to make uh, items other than the bit face. Still need the bit face for now. Uh, once we get bone polishing, we won't need that anymore because we can use bone knives and stuff. But yeah, we'll set it to that so people will start making that other stuff now. Um, okay, so we're done all those. Skull pull things. Okay. Well, we can actually set up some new work areas now. If we wish to. Okay, yeah, every time you survive the winter, it gives you one knowledge, so... If you start death spiraling, winter is generally the time when you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Um, hopefully we won't death spiral in this, but... Never know. Let me 
so we got that tent. Okay, I'm gonna recycle this one now. Just cause I don't like having it aimed that way. Some people like to build their fucking tents and stuff all willy-nilly. I like the nice, neat rows. And, uh, with it like this, I can't put my other, uh, skin dryer thing there that I want. So, let's see how close... Oh, there's still sticks there. Okay. Okay, we're at 74 now. So, let's go find some game to hunt. Oh, we could maybe do that one, but... Instead, we're, we're just gonna grab this. Yeah, we're gonna kill more reindeer. Or, oh, we should kill that donkey. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. So you see we got the dogs with us there. We're sneaking up, and we killed the donkey. Yay. I mean, it doesn't really give much for resources. It's the same as the reindeer, but... Hey, we get the plus for hunting our first wild donkey. <sighs> Ooh, okay, yeah, we're gonna have to go kill them for sure. This is uh, bison? Yeah, okay. So yeah, we're gonna go kill this uh, fucking lion over here also. Okay, but next thing we're gonna do is residence, tent. So we got enough for 21 people here. We can keep building them, but uh, tents need uh, maintenance. And same thing with like huts and stuff. So the more you build, the more resources you have to spend maintaining it. So you don't want to overbuild uh, for your society because it'll become all kinds of problems. However, we can build a storage tent now. And we'll build that one right there. That'll use a fair bit of sticks and stuff. Another thing we can do also is build um, maybe another food dryer or two. there. Okay, this will use like all of our fucking sticks for sure. Which means we're gonna need to- oh, what happened to that line? Oh, there she is. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to go kill her right now before we do anything else. Oh, shit. Fuck is everybody with their fucking knives and shit. Okay, I just wanna make sure she doesn't get close to us. Because she will kill our children. The dogs will protect us, but she will kill our children, and that is not good. Damn. So I want to take out all three of them, and uh, need more than three people with hunting stuff to do that. That'll take tanning and stuff, and it's nice to have a bit of extra leather. You know what? We don't really need that right now, do we? Go like that. Usually you don't want to trade away all your food, but we can get more lickety split. Um, yeah, you want to check this stuff out occasionally, because, yeah, you're fishing out and mud them out. That's how much people can still fish there. So we got plenty of, plenty of room for extra fish. Okay, Storm. Storms really don't do much here. Sometimes your guys will get struck by lightning, which really fucking sucks. But okay, yeah, we got five together. Okay, we're gonna go kill this lion. I'm gonna bring the dogs with us. Sick the dogs on them. Gonna go for that one next. And lastly, we're gonna get that one. You don't really get much resources for the young cave lions and stuff. Uh, you get part, very little meat and stuff, but 
you got to get rid of them because they're going to kill your people. Same thing with hyenas and wolves. Um, you just got to kill them. Oh, and there's bears also. Um, I'm not seeing any though currently, so that's pretty awesome. Just want to do a quick scan around. Don't see any red, so except for that woolly rhino over there. Okay. Oh, shit, we get new tech. Hey, what do we want? Um, we already got the leather, so we might as well build some leather outfits. So do that. Come down here, right-click there, and they'll start making the leather outfits. You only want 100% of those because leather is quite helpful. But you also have to build for production a tanner, and you generally want probably two tanners. So I'm going to go like that. And then you have to set up also another work area, which in this case will be for collecting tannin. So we'll go like that. Boom. Collect some tannin there. Collect some tannin there. And collect some tannin. No, not right there, actually. Ooh. Um, we should also set up an area to cut down trees from. And uh, you know what? Hmm. I don't want to cut those trees quite yet. But, ah, you know what? These ones... These should go first. And we're going to actually have to build for storage. A couple more wood piles. Um, we don't really need these in the center of the colony, but... Ah, uh, yeah. So I'm going to set them over here. Because they'll stay out of the way of anything we build later on. We might need these areas. Oh, man. You know what? I'm going to cancel these. You know what? Yeah, I'll do it this way. Because we'll need lots of logs for when we start building fortifications, and it's nice to have those in a nice central area. So we'll do that for now. Whoa, what is going on here? Oh, it's because it's spring, right. First day of summer, yeah, okay. So first day of summer, they're going to go gather all the fruit and stuff that we've set out to gather for these harvests. So that's going to jack that up like crazy. But hey, we acquired 10 fruit. That's plus one knowledge. I'll take it. This, I'm going to say no stone here. And then I'm going to build storage rock piles over here which seems kind of ridiculous right now but trust me when we start gathering up all this these rocks here we'll set all of our stone here and then they can just mine all the stone out of these areas I'm actually gonna set some over here this is really just planning out ship for later on in this game because yeah those rock piles will take up a bunch of room and you know we're going to be mining rocks from these areas so okay um got 17 skins now could even use a few more of those okay what i'm going to do here is i'm going to change the resource limits on this because we have so few people right now that we're not uh quite getting enough of those that'll be good for trade so i'm going to set that up to 25 actually i'll set up 30 that way they'll make a bunch of those and we can trade those off for techs. Because sometimes the traders have techs. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh yeah, the tanning, that's the other one. That, oh wait, I guess that uh, that's only in spring they can really harvest that. Well, they don't have too many sticks left here. Actually, oh, there's still quite a few in the area. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Well, this will go down as, as time goes on, won't it? The advantage of them cutting down trees is you got all these logs and you get sticks from it too. And we'll just have one lumberjack going through there, cutting all those logs down. Ooh. 
Okay, I'm gonna go kill that reindeer right now because it's right next. You gotta. Oh man, only one guy's got hunting tools right now. Damn. Okay, you know what? Just to show you what it does, I'm gonna set up a hunting area right here, so they'll kill stuff that comes through here. Set five people on that. Oh, for meat, I gotta set that up to infinite also. Okay, now when somebody takes the task on, they'll go try to kill that reindeer. Oh, I think they're going for him now. It's just one guy with a dog. And it's escaped. Awesome. Well, that's why you don't bother setting up hunting areas. Well, whatever, we'll leave that there for now. If it goes right, I'll show you it going right. If it goes wrong, I'll, you know, show you what, what happens there. So, set up that game speed to 8 again. Let shit go on. And they're just going to keep building them, them things there. You now this crafting's taking up a fair bit of, uh, fair bit of task stuff right now. Okay, now we get to do this. Oh, a boar went through there. Okay, all them boar went through there. Wow, okay. Oh, well, we got five guys working the hunting area now, and... Well, I guess I'll just let them keep hunting them boar. Okay, now there's a bug here where this thing gets out over there. So yeah, the boar, when they're going through the water, these guys will be like attacking them and attacking them and attacking them. They can die and lose all their health and they'll keep swimming through and then they'll come out and go over there. But it won't even select to butcher them yet, so you're going to have to go over there and do that. It's a weird bug in the game. Oh shit. Who's he attacking? I don't know. Okay, let's get all the hunting people. Better go kill that guy. I think he's going for those kids. Alright, there we go. That shit was kind of important. Oh, shit, we got more knowledge. Okay, um... Let's go with slings for now. We'll add those there. So things are alright. The, the bows are so much better. But, uh... Slings will do for now. You know what? I'm gonna have to build more... Skin dryers. Oh, ten total. That's as many as we'll need. We got a bunch of sticks right now, so might as well use them up. Oh, you know what I have to do? Because, yeah, we built all these rock things here earlier. So you want to make sure all this stuff is disallowed from there, because otherwise they're going to be putting, like, charcoal and tin ore and all this stuff. You don't want that in there. You just want the rocks in there, the stone. Stone is uh, incredibly useful later on, but unless you're building a hearth, it is useless for now. So, we're going to go through this. I'm going to disallow all this stuff here. This way, when they finally start mining stone, rather than taking it all the way over to this thing here, they'll take it quickly over to this thing here. And that's why we built them over here also, because there's a bunch of stone in this area. It's nice to get that out of the way. Okay, we had four more people join the settlement. That's enough for another tech. So, we'll unlock funerary rites. Stone. Well, we'll just gather up from those areas right now. And, um, shrink this down to that. Okay. And I think they've gathered up all the flint from over there, so now we need to set a new flint area. Um, the obtained flint things will just disappear once they've actually gathered the flint. Um, same thing with the stone, so... Set those there and... I'll let it run itself for a bit. 
Um, I think we might need to set up another fishing area. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to place another fishing area down here. You want to capture three once again in this thing. Let's set it over here. You know what? We'll set up a, another fishing area up here. Capture these three in it. And call that good. Because that hunting area is causing a lot of, uh... Really quite unnecessary chasing around of these guys. So, like, look at this. They're, they're chasing this fucking guy all the way over here. I mean... I would never send the guys all the way that far. Like, there's just no point to it. Send them after this guy because it's kind of on the way back. And like the hunting area, they won't even send people after these things here. We can probably kill those woolly rhinos though, finally. Okay, yeah, there we go. Adult male, wow. That's a lot of good resources. So yeah, once that worldly winer moves closer, okay. I think we have enough guys for it. So I'm going to slow this down for a second. We're going to get a bunch of hunters together. Oh, I kind of want more than six. Only have six? Okay, well, I'll deal with them later. Talk to the trader for now. Okay, so we'll grab those, those, those. Oh, and commission's low. Awesome. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I just put all the stuff back I selected. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Actually, take those out. Take those out. Pull those down, and... Why not? We'll give them a fish. And we'll say okay. There we go. Ten leather, ten logs. Okay, why is this so fucking high? Oh, it's crafting leather... Gonna butcher that, uh, chop. Oh, yeah, it's good. Okay. Well, whatever. Okay, now is uh, another thing I completely forgot to do earlier. This helps a great deal. So you want to hit plus on that thing. This lets you choose what you want up there. Now, I like to go grouped resources. Because then it shows, you know, your food's up there. Your materials are here. Your actual produced, finished products are here. And your skins are there. Very helpful. Second thing I like to do is put um, animals usually here. So I'm going to go animals right there. And then last I'm going to go straw chart. Um, that becomes important later on. It's not really needed right now. So here I also like to go attachments. Or, um, is that attachments? That, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, so but whatever, attachments. And then I like to go defense. This becomes important later on, so does this one. But it's nice to know where how much of that stuff you have so you kind of want to set up your screen like that uh it'll help you in the later game which is why i generally forget about it till roughly around now oh I mean, we got tons of skins and everything well, i'm gonna say don't bother hunting that fucker Save them the trouble of dealing with that. Alright, 184. They're still building stuff there. Oh yeah, they're building those things now. It's nice to have a bunch of skin dryers going on because, uh... Hey, you know, we'll be drying a lot of skins. The stone gatherers go over here and do their thing. And stonework area is exhausted. Well, you know what? We're going to build another residence here. Okay, so we almost have enough leather outfits for everybody. Um, having enough outfits, like, okay, the guys won't freeze to death, but if they don't have clothes, it destroys their morale a lot faster. So you want them to have clothing for that reason. Another thing I'm going to actually do for morale right now is I'm going to build some funerary burial mounds. And burial mounds are what you'd expect them to be. Um, 
And I kind of like setting them out here usually. But, so we go boom. You want to build three because then you get the extra tech for it. And people can gain morale back there. I just, I think it's cool that they come up here and they're like, oh, they're good, they're good, you know, and stuff like that. And they're all worshipping their, their dead relatives up there. So, you know, having a cemetery right in the middle of town would just be a bit of a downer. just gonna leave this here and I'll have one guy going around with a flint pick doing his shit there but yeah at this point the game goes faster if you try to get more text knowledge as fast as possible and yeah you get oh man are you guys chasing some random fucking yeah you are Oh, man. So they're going to chase this fucking reindeer all over the fucking place. We got the baby alone. Uh. Yeah, we're gonna cancel that. We'll come over and hang out with his mother soon. And yeah, we don't even need to do that for now. Um, can't get any knowledge till pottery, so we'll stop this here. One hour in, and uh, you know, I'd say we're doing pretty good here. I'm gonna get out of this. And I, oh, nope. Don't wanna do that. I'll set up the time to be a bit faster. And, uh, yeah. Survive the winter plus one knowledge. Do the milestone thing. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, big deal. I think this is just survive two winters. So let's see what that milestone was. Yeah, survive two years. Unlock the Mesolithic era. Okay. Um, you know what? We're gonna boost knowledge by having more tents here. I think we could. Yeah, I'm going to build a second crafter. Um, this will just help us uh, help us build more shit faster. Yeah, that's got a bunch of shit in it now, too. Alright. Got 30 sticks. You know what, let's get 50 sticks now. set that back down to 30 because we're hitting like almost 300%. These guys are just going to quit doing fucking anything. Keep that up. Once they get these tents built, that'll give us a bit more knowledge. Oh, we got two more people joining the tribe here? Or no, wait, that's the fucking traitor. We won't have any techs because we're sitting at the next era, so that kind of sucks. Um, might as well grab all this shit, though. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay, we'll call that good. Ooh, might you want to trade off your wooden shit and your bit faces also because it becomes quite useless in the next bit. Um, because essentially you can't trade it for anything anymore. 
They, they go from being worth five to worth one, so get rid of them. Okay, we got 10 knowledge, we need 15. Is that woolly rhino still around there? Oh, they're right over there. Ah, uh, new humans born. Okay, that's why you want to keep your uh, workload low also, is that you'll get more humans if you uh, keep your workload down by comparison to uh, other things. Actually, I'm going to move this here. Oh, wait, tannin's already there. Move tanning there? No, we don't. You know, I'm going to move this just across the river over here. Okay, how do you deal with that? Okay, we're going to do this. Okay, yeah, now we got a bunch of people here. Okay. Now we're hunting the big game. Well, well, it's the big game. See, we can attack its baby, and it'll just uh, come attack us right after. So... Oh, maybe not. Kill that cave bear there. Okay, now we're going for that one also. Boom. There we go. For the woolly rhino. But yeah, look at that. Fucking ten meat, six fucking skins, two bones. This one's six meat, four skin, two bone. Cave bear. It's not that bad also. The workload's too fucking high again. But hey. We're doing alright. You know we don't need more bit faces. As much as we only have four knives. See, when you send people out to butcher, the fact that we only have four knives means only four people can extract resources from these animals. So... That becomes kind of an issue. But we're about to unlock the next era. I don't want to send people after that, if possible. Or, uh, actually, you know what? We got fucking plenty of stuff. You can build a bit face if you want. Okay, we got another two humans in the settlement, so that'll help stuff. So what they're at. Let's see what this guy... Oh, he's going to get a leather... Oh, she's going to get a leather outfit. Let's see where this guy's going. Doobie, doobie, doo. Oh. You know what? If I can, I'll you two. There we go. Oh, raw meat 100. Okay, here we go. Here we go, baby. Next era coming right up. Everybody loves the next era. So. The next era is here. Boom. Got pottery. Now we can gather water from the river and hold in your tents, which is quite helpful. And, uh, yeah, got another milestone. We'll click on that. And I was like, no, you don't even want to see it this time. But we're going to go into that. We're going to click on it. Unlock the Mesolithic Era. Because just don't want to focus on anything. Anyway. I'll let this go on and up the speed. God, it feels good to be in the Mesolithic era. Oh, there's a bunch of ancient bison there, so we're going to have to kill them. But, uh, you know, we got plenty of meat, plenty of fucking skins. We really just just need to kind of let this thing go for now. Okay, they're orange and yellow. So the orange guys, they won't attack you until you, like, attack their young or them. So. We'll leave that there. Okay, and we got another burial mound built. Yeah, I know we're low on knives. I guess it's all the bit faces from the beginning are now, uh... Or by face. My bad. Bit face. I don't know why I want to call it bit face. Okay, so we'll do that. There we go. So how much raw meat do we have? We still have 19 raw meat. Okay, I'm gonna build... More food dryers here. Uh, 
There's each base in there over there still. Okay. Yeah, the game is going to start moving further and further away from us. Because it knows we're predators now. and That's just what they do. So those are all stone there. Stone, stone, stone. Okay, well this workload's going to go down pretty quick here. Oh shit. When you drop everything, go kill this fucking bear. Oh, you got him. Oh. You see, like, that hit there, that probably damaged this guy a bit. Yeah. And... Bangro? Bangro! Probably son of Grogro. Some relation. Anyway, if their health gets down too far, they can get sick. And if they get sick, they start losing health, and quite often they die. Okay, so this is everybody going over to sort of fight the, uh... Fight that bear. The knot. Okay, that thing's almost full, so we're gonna build another storage tent, because, hey, we got the time right now. Got the people. Might as well. Okay, what is... And it's just a bit too much crafting, isn't it? Yeah, see they got shit morale right now, so they're gonna pray at this skull pole here. That's gonna boost their morale up. It's really shitty first level thing, so it's gonna take a while to do that. If somebody dies, they'll be buried there, and then they can go worship at the burial mound. Okay, and now knowledge takes seven for each thing now, so we're gonna have to worry about that. Okay, sweet. So, grain processing. Ah, fucking high. Goddamn. I'll trade all that. Oh, damn. Hmm. So I don't want to trade all these right before winter. that. Anyway, I think that's pretty good. And these guys will just have to build, uh, build all that stuff now. But hey, grain processing's nice. They can now harvest these things. Not lentils. Those get harvested in the summer. But yeah, okay, so they're supposed to go harvest the icorn there. Oh, and we get more knowledge. So, what do we want to build here? Okay, the th uh, bows are very helpful, but I'm actually going to go with sledge making because it really, really, really helps when it comes to recovering, uh, like, logs and shit. Because then they can load, like, six logs on that rather than just carrying one log. And it can also, uh... Well, you'll see. We'll, we'll let it be a bit of a surprise for you guys. got 14 leather, so I'm going to say let's make uh, seven sledges. Side note, I'm going to build some transport posts right here. So we'll go like that. Oh, shit. You know what? Before this all goes down, I'm going to do this quickly. We're going to go kill as many of these fucking ancient bison as possible. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a fight here. Oh no, they're all running.
Hey, I don't know what the fuck has happened now. They're all freaking out, going off in their own directions and everything. You guys are gonna come over here and kill that one. You guys are gonna go kill that one. And we'll kill the last one in just a few seconds. Fuck, they're all running away over here. This was not what I intended. And then we'll... Okay. Finish that up there. Alright, cool. Is that a fucking... He's almost dead too, but don't need to do, deal with that anymore. Okay, well, killing those bison, it's added a shitload of shitload to our work and everything. But if needed, we'll have a bunch of extra skins for it. Actually, we'll go like this. Set those up to high priority. Those will get built next. And that'll speed everything else up. So, see here, we'll follow this dude here with the sledge. Oh, put it on the trading post. Or the sled post. Or transport post. Right, well, let's follow this person around. I'm going to get stoned. I'm going to go get stoned here, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Doesn't take the cart with her. Instead, goes and picks it up by hand. Um, it's a dog, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Let's follow her as she unhappily walks back to back to her place with all this meat. Put it up in the dryer, and she's going to sleep. Oh shit. I guess those pigs wandered through the hunting ground thing, so... Alright, well. Hey, that works out. They got all of them. Gotta catch them all. Over 20 people. Oh, milestone. Let's click on that. Dun, 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 dun. All right. So, population's up. All that shit. Get a new knowledge here. Let's go bone polishing so that way we don't have to worry about the bit face things anymore. Get rid of that. Just don't kill that guy. Okay, and you guys will kill that one. We'll wrap it. And why not kill that one too? Okay. Ooh. So yeah, the traders now when they come, they're gonna have sledge. There's sleds with them too. So. Okay, spirituality. Nice. What can I trade you for that? Oh, I don't want to have to trade all my fucking leather outfits. Um, you know, I'll trade all the slings away. Trade you the bone spears. You know, I think the other, huh? Well, I don't need grain or straw right now, also. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have to be like that. Trading for technologies as much as that, that sucked giving away all that shit for it. 
um, it'll be very, very helpful uh, as the game goes on. Because it just, it gets you that extra, that extra uh, speed that needs to be done, you know, if you're trying to beat the game quickly. Oh, okay, that's a dog. Thought that might be a wolf for a bit. Okay, well... Still too high. I guess it's because they gotta craft all that shit, huh? Yeah, like you see, put four logs, one stick on there, so whoever comes up to grab that, you know, they're gonna be able to bring a bunch in. Alright, so let's see what we got knowledge wise. Um, I'm gonna grab archery now. And now we can quit making those and make bows and arrows instead. Because, yes, things have become kind of useless. So, yeah, we've got a bunch of logs there, a bunch of sticks. This is all working out pretty good now. Oh. Those wolves? Yeah. Okay, so you can like tame their kids now because we got dogs. But uh, we're still going to have to go kill those wolves because they'll kill our kids if we go past them. So It's unfortunate, but it's got to be. Don't need as many. They're the weakest of the uh, predator animals you run into. just tame that one just because uh, I know the computer generated like pixels but I kind of feel bad wiping out their uh, their whole family and stuff you know it's uh, got to be done but still Or did fucking escape. That's uh really fucking far away. So what you got? Uh pulse processing, I'll take that. And I want your leather also. What else you got? Average. Hmm. All those are useless now. Ooh. I think 
that we need more areas for flint here. Shit, we're really on dry skin, so we need to find some uh, animals to hunt. God damn, there's some down there, but that is a ways away. And then there's a family of cave hyenas. Okay, we might just go kill them because uh, could become issues later on. And frankly, right now, yeah, there's no fucking game anywhere near us, so that really sucks. some cave hyenas. Suck this like a, the great hunts of old. Uh, an old man, no, two old men and five women going for it. Fucking Amazonians here. This is uh, pretty epic. I'm going to wait for bone polishing because I think one of the traders will have it for me and then I can buy the uh, the wheat planting shit that I will need. Join the settlement. Uh, I keep saying my workload's too fucking high. I can see why, but.
set up another hunting area right here. Of course, be ginormous. Five people working it. Alright, now we're just gonna let it go fucking batshit crazy here for uh, speed. Set up another uh, harvesting fucking area right over here. Hey, you always want to keep an eye on your food and see where that is. Um, oh shit, I think I can also build. Um, yeah, mortar. So we'll do that right there. Now, because I spent too much on the skins outfits here, um, they're going to have to build a bunch of back here, and that's going to really suck. But yeah, some of these guys are probably going to get pretty cold this winter, especially if they're running down here to do stuff. What the fuck? How is that the first? So yeah, they're going to go grab that guy's uh, body with a big one of these sledges here. And they're going to take him over to one of these things. And they're going to bury him. And he's going to be our first guy buried. Luckily, he is now the only one I think we've had uh, die from, from anything. So that's pretty awesome. It's usually you get attacked by cave lions or whatever the fuck, you know, at some point in this game. And uh, for that not to be happening is... Quite the feat. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm fucking great in every way imaginable. And, uh, you know, the fact that that's, that's happened. Something else. Oh shit, okay. So yeah, see, he's getting really cold. And as he continues to be cold, he'll, uh, be dying and stuff. But now he'll get nice and warm because he's in the tent. But yeah, he lost a bit of health for that. Another one died of old age. I guess it's gonna start happening now. But, oh well. Shit happens. Oh, we got a trader coming in. Let's see what they got. Ooh. Seven leather. I don't think we need the logs. Take the pulses and the bone. She got, mm. Mm. Go like that. Yeah, that seems like a pretty fair trade. I 
about that. Oh shit. Okay, so yeah, this guy got too cold. So we're gonna follow him around, see if he dies from his disease. There's really nothing you can do once they've got the disease. Maybe they live, maybe they die. Um. All right, cool. Here we go. So, this is going to be a new era. A new era in Ass Clown's history. Oh, shit. We got a cave bear attack. There's, okay. At least he's just attacking a dog. But for now, we're going to have to go like this. Uh, not you, because you're hungry. And we're going to send all these guys after him. Oh man. I'm gonna have to go down there and hopefully they don't get killed by uh those lions. Killed my dog bear. You are getting fucking killed, I don't care. How big you are or anything. You're down. Down for the count. Okay, so now we're going to up the era. Oh, and uh, here we go. So, uh, boom, boom. Oh, it's a big deal. Now what that will allow us to do is plant a bit of emmer and stuff like that. Just gonna go like this, you know, plant. Just get very tiny bits. We don't really need too much right now. Um, this was Emmer Barley, okay. How did I forget that two seconds afterwards? Whatever. Boom. So do that. Um, we need to um storage. Gotta have a haystack. Right there, there we go. Know everything there is to know about farming. Leave me alone. And, um, yeah. Just let that go on for a bit. Damn, all you guys are really fucking hungry. What? We've got plenty of food, right? Yeah, raw meat, cure me. to go after just because they're going to cause problems otherwise. What the hell? Okay. Holy shit. Look at that, 300%, what the fuck's happening? Oh, it's planting stuff because of the spring, right? And I just set out all those fucking fields and stuff. Ooh. He's tempting to go get. Okay, well. We should be fine with those lines compared to that stuff there. Good. 
Okay, I'm gonna start Death Spiral if I keep doing this shit with the... with this stuff, but we'll see what happens. Should really hunt that woolly mammoth though, also. Okay. Dry skins, goat domestication. Oh, and I could use all this shit. And what do I have to trade? I'm fucking nothing right now. Oh man, I'm gonna have to. Ah, this really sucks. That's why I want to keep a bunch of skins on hand. This is a... Yeah, it's just too much. Alright, well... Now we're gonna have to deal with these fucking mountain lions, aren't we? for them to go down that far, but it's what's needed. You know what? Don't bother going to butcher that fucker. He's too far away. He would be worth killing, though. now because hey I'm also gonna need it oh shit I'm gonna get rid of these, cause, yeah. Once again, the guys just keep fucking going way off out in the middle of goddamn nowhere. And, uh... Yeah. And I 
I'll just keep the speed going. Grow, grow! Grow, grow! No! So these are the adults from the initial settlement dying now, of course. So let's go see him get put in the... Oh no, he's already been grabbed. But no hop. Just putting him in here and praying for him. Yeah, these can each hold three people. They'll stay there for a little while and then they'll be, uh, bust out. Okay, now they're gonna harvest all this shit. That's pretty awesome. Where's, uh, okay, I guess they got one place left to chop wood there. So once that's gone, we'll do that and you know, we'll do this uh, section of trees next. Wow. You guys are still chasing him. Like, I mean, look at how fucking far away this is. Like, let's be realistic here. Why the fuck would I send guys all the way over here? Oh, it's one of the broken mechanics in this game. And, uh, you know, they had some old woman going over there to fucking kill him. She's probably gonna die from a lack of rest and all this shit. Because she ran all the way over there from over fucking here. Anyway. You know, she'll be lucky to make it back before winter. Let's let's watch this woman go. Alright. She goes, oh, you can make it, Granny. Come on, you can do it. You're a fucking cave woman. You got this shit. Grow Grow would be proud of you. You got it. Yeah, you're making it back. Oh, oh, how much further? Oh, oh, yeah, now you can see the settlement. And I bet she goes right to sleep. Alright, we got population 30. Oh, and right into the tent. Okay. I don't think she even normally sleeps there. Okay, well, you know what? We got a bunch of shit right now, so I'm going to go like this. Alright. Um... So yeah, that'll be the rest of the bones. I'm gonna go transport, transport post. One, two, three. Okay, this way they got a place to put all the sledges. We got 12 already now, so. You know, we're gonna set this up to 25. We got 32 people. You know, things are going along pretty nice here. Let's see, what's he got? Oh, a bunch of shit we don't want. Awesome. Uh, I mean, I'll take the wool because, you know, we'll need that in the future. Just wondering how long it's going to be good for. Hmm. Actually, I'll take those two bones also. Okay. All that good. Okay, so now we got all them totems up. Got a bunch of carts going. Or sledges. Those transport posts will be all together pretty soon. People seem pretty happy now. Especially since I quit sending them on fucking god awful long missions out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Trying to kill some fucking goat that's like. You know, been bothering me or some shit, I don't know.
Actually, we now do need to start killing more. Oh god, I want to send a hunting party down there. Okay, first thing in the spring. A hunting party's gonna go down here and kill all these reindeer. Gonna fucking kill Rudolph. down here for one bone. That's dedication to the tribe. Where are you going? I was going to get another bone. Wow. Why were single bones left all the way down here? Whatever. Thatching might be the next, uh, next thing. That, that gives you a lot of new shit that is, uh, well worth it. But, yeah, I'll go thatching. Okay, what you want to do first thing right after you get thatching is this. You want to set up your workplaces for extracting mud, because this is pretty important. So you want your mud here, boom. One person grabbing 50. No, oh, no, you don't need to build anything yet. Extract mud. Extract mud again. Oh, now, unfortunately, that's going to use up uh, a lot of workspace. Just let these guys plant all this stuff, and then we're going to go. Uh, going to go attack all those uh, reindeer we saw. And get Rudolph and Donner and Blitzen, Calm and Cupid, all them guys. The hell. Going to get flint. Okay, well, there's some goats over here also. Or ibex, that's right. Get that last one done? Okay. Should you guys hunt that? Then where's Rudolph at? Oh, cool, they're getting closer. That's pretty awesome. Hunted party going down here. What happened to Rudolph? Oh, there he is. I'm gonna do this. You can go home. And where's the other one? So tired. Yeah, you can also go home. We don't need, don't need you guys on this one. You're really tired. What are you carrying? Some meat? Instead of repairing these, I'm going to set these to upgrade to thatched, uh, thatched buildings. So we actually have some of the stuff now. Ah, oh, fucking come on, Rudolph. What are you doing? 
I don't want my guys to have to walk all the fucking way over here for this. Okay, actually, you guys gotta go back. How many raiders are we talking about here? Three? Okay, I can take three raiders, that's no problem. Actually, and you guys can instead... Well, that fucking sucks, man. Why do the raiders have to attack right then? Oh, dude, get out of there. Oh, dude, you're gonna get so fucked up here, man. Okay, the advantage of raider attacks is after you've killed the raiders, you click that thing and they all get their morale boosted right up because, hey, they just killed a bunch of people that are coming to kill them. But yeah, that, that was kind of a fucking joke. I tried to get the old dude out of there, but it's like I got a flint pick, I'm doing this. Alright, well. Oh, we got Trader coming in now. Little Trader Joe. The advantage of when they take these apart is we'll get extra furs that we can then use, or skins. Ooh, there we go. Hunt them. Ooh, an Uruk. Hunt you, Mufalon. I'm gonna have to send people down here to kill these bears too. Oh, what's that? Oh yeah, and you also. Okay, I don't think I see anything else here. Why do these guys go chasing after those horses? No, let's see what, what people are doing. Three sledges all over there. Okay, I'll upgrade that to hut also. Uh, see, bit faces are useless now, like money-wise. So it's like we might uh, might as well not even bother selling them. Yeah, we'll go like that. Oh, fucking Rudolph comes back? Okay, well, we'll have to get them in just a bit. Let's kind of run on for a bit. Oh shit. I wasn't really thinking there. Now we don't have enough space for people, so people can't come join us, and people can't be born and all that shit, so. So we got these houses rebuilt there. I'll be in a good spot. Oh, there we go. 
Um, what's next? Oh, pulse processing. And pulse domestication. Okay, so we'll go uh, boom, peas. Better reach. Check peas. Now, the reason to do multiple different things is that, uh, occasionally they, uh, they get diseased, so then you won't get a harvest from it. Oh, and those bears are over there now? So this can hold 49 people now. I'm gonna build another hut here. Load's still too high, god damn it. It's cause this shit once they, they get that harvested. Should be sitting pretty. Okay. Let's see what you got. Goat domestication for three hundred. Oh man. Just build more of those. I just want to go like that. Ah. The thing is, th they do expire after a certain amount of time and can't be used for anything. I go like that. What would there be a hundred of still here? Yeah, you know what? I'll do that. to be going all this way over here. You know what? That's just too far. So no, we won't hunt that. We won't hunt that. Won't butcher that. Won't hunt that. Those, ah, oh, those are... Holy shit.
I'll wait till that's all harvested and then, then worry about the those things. Um, well digging does help quite a bit. Okay, the, the advantage of well digging is your guys don't have to go anywhere near as far to uh, to um, get water later on. So, I build them up there in kind of useless areas because now when we uh, redevelop these fields, once well, the stone's been chipped away. Which will actually take a little while now. Um, anyway. Um, I'm also going to build... I know it seems like a little bit just to keep them from having to go down there, but it does actually help considerably. Are those bears still around there? Where'd the bears go? Oh, they're back there. Okay. Might as well. And I'm actually going to cut that down to 33. We don't need as many any anymore. Um, upload those to 10. You know what, I'll up that to 10 also. Bunch of extra work. And now these things also have two entrances, so that's pretty awesome. Yeah. I'm going to set these up to high priority so they just craft more as fast as possible. Fuck, get, get home, old lady. Get home. You are too cold to be out there. What the fuck were you doing out there anyway? Once I get done that, I'm sending them after those bears. Next, um, <laughs> oh man, that's really tempting right now. Fortifications. 
Uh, no, I should have gone with a weaver. Okay. Oh. Little winter hunt. We're gonna go kill these bears and kill them bison. that task. I'm gonna call that good. It's a lot of dead bears and dead bison. Well, we'll change that one up. There we go. That should be good. Just a few extra things here. set out now. Died of old age. Oh no. Oh shit. I need to uh, get some flint here. Okay, you know, I'm going to place a work area here. This is gather flint. And it'll gather from this thing. You can build flint mines uh, pretty soon actually. But for now, that shit does not matter. We can just uh, use one of our picks and get it from there. Flax yet, but okay. okay. And now I'm gonna go with weaving. I can actually get rid of a couple of these, so I'm gonna actually pick some of these that are not being used right now and recycle them. I'll recycle these two once they're done doing whatever they're doing. And uh, now we're going to have to build some outfitters and weavers. Actually, we're going to have to chop that down. there anymore. Yeah. Still have enough for 49 spaces there. Okay, yeah, yeah.
just feels like we're building too many, but... Oh. Alright, there we go. all that shit up. A bit extra from that. Stables here now. You know what, the, the workload here is way too fucking high. But well, once they get all that stuff moved over, the, the stuff, that's, these things right here. Now I'm just going to put those right there. Just <laughs> well, this will do that and be done with all the tents. goats here. Okay, um, need some flax here also. Yo, farmer, ooh. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. Okay.
just set that over there. Two of these, I don't know. I just feel like it. What the hell are you doing all the way fucking over here? You know what? Come over here. At least you lived. Okay, um, actually I need to grab six of you guys to come over here and kill these, uh, wolves here before they kill that woman. So we'll kill that on the way home. Okay, so we got that done now. Goats, skins. I trade you for. I'll take those. Probably take those too. Yeah. She lived and she's not ill or anything. That's fucking awesome, man. Holy shit. Got it just in time. I might want to build here, but I can't think of anything off the top of my head. You know what? I'm gonna have to plant first. Plant.
flax down there for now. Still moving that later. I'll need to start building those pretty soon, too. Oh, I don't need that there. Okay, let's start getting the new clothing here pretty soon. I gotta sell all this shit off before the next generation or else it goes down to being worth just one dollar. And, uh, yeah. Don't wanna have to deal with that shit. Sweet. No tasks in that queue, so that's pretty awesome. Four guys working on that. Try to get those fucking rocks over there. Three of them. Okay. Let's see how many guys we got here. Oh, eight only. Now we got eleven. Okay. We'll lose some old fart again. That was unbelievably easy.
just kind of do its thing. Because we had all those old people die. Um, see, and like, you gotta keep an eye on this food here because this is gonna get pretty nasty. If it's uh, not dealt with. Um, ooh. kill that horse right now. Okay, we're gonna move this down to 10 also. I guess we're gonna need a lot more leather now than, than other stuff. Cancel that. Are you guys here? Oh. Yeah, you know what? Okay, I'll deal with the trader first. And uh, worry about the other shit afterwards. So we'll grab three of them. Oh, uh, we could use more flint picks. Spears. Okay, and a trade will give you that. And a bunch of these. So they are next to... They're going to be next to worthless in just a little bit. Okay. Fucking chasing that. Okay. As well, hey, free skin. Do 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 do. Transport, and that'll go right there, and we'll have our first little stone thing. Okay, you know, I'm going to do something, I'm just going to measure this out right now. That'll go right about there-ish. Build one down over here also. Okay. 
Yeah, you know, I'm not too worried about those raiders, but they, they're total pussies until they fucking aren't. And when they fucking aren't, you want to be totally ready for them or they'll kill a shitload of people in your fucking... Um... Thing, and... Yeah, that really sucks. So, okay, right now we got three goats, two sheep, one pig. Trying to keep that cable line away from us because it's a bad motherfucker. So here's, um, change this planting around. Nope, 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 nope. What the hell? Did I hit the wrong fucking uh, okay, I hit the wrong button on my mouse. My mouse up and downs its sensitivity based on which buttons I hit on the middle part, so it can really kind of fuck things up. That there. Okay. that a bit? Okay. Cool. So now I'm gonna speed up again. Oh shit. Um, silting is... You know what? I'm gonna just count on trading for these next two and buy uh, copper smelting now. And hope that'll be good. Yeah, that'll bring, uh, you know, lots of, uh, lots of morale back when people are using it. Let's see. That's what she's doing here. Wow, that old woman's happy now. Akka. Or Aka. We'll call her Ak for now. Right there. Alright, there we go. 
silt distilled in. Oh, it's low. This is pretty awesome. Well, it seems weird trading that for that, but that's totally worth it. Uh, unfortunately, we can't get any... Um, We're gonna start needing food pretty quick here, so I'll grab those also. Those. Yeah, seems good. that. Okay, transport. Let's put the bridge across here. Like so. And we'll build a bridge. So you're like so. Okay. <laughs> there we go. I think we got this all nice and set up now. Bit too much work for everyone to do, but I feel like they'll be fine. Up. Oh, fuck. Rudolph's back, huh? Oh. There's those fuckers over there, too. Okay, well. Don't worry about that. I gotta plant more shit before I uh, go on to the next bit. Okay. What do we got up there? Want lentils? Okay. So we got lentils. We need peas. Those right there. Seems good to me. Um, I am going to have to build a few things right here. Uh, what was it? Okay, storage. We'll need some of these.
idea here is to make it so that... Oh, shit. Of course I'd do that. Make it so there's nice straight lines where guys can just walk in and out, right? So that's why I'm building like that, like there. don't have any warm clothing. I got gotcha. you. Jesus Christ. That's pretty fucking far away. Those ancient bison. Okay. Yeah, now you want to kind of quit hunting animals because it just takes too long. Um, the risk reward ratio isn't really there. But I might as well hunt that guy. Could hunt them too, but yeah, whatever. piece up there next time. Um, but right now I need flax. A whole bunch of it right there. Well, why not plant a bit more right there? Okay, but I'm going to set my resource limits on these up to 150 each because, hey, you might as well. And, uh, yeah, 20 each is pretty good there. Alright, there we go. Oh, uh, shit, we're using the last of, uh, damn. Well, grab all that. Might as well get rid of them, because those are useless now to us. So we'll have some excess straw for now and excess grain. But you want to keep your straw and grain for later on. But we don't really need it at this exact moment, so we might as well get rid of it. Hmm. Don't need those. You know what? Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. What with that? So I want to plant a bunch of peas here. Gotta go somewhere. That's a pretty good spot for it. And we'll build a well right here also. Which can 
service this stuff. I'll worry about making this all domestic animal stuff in this more uh, houses like that. Yeah. So now we'll build our gate here that we were planning on building. And yeah, wow. Okay, so we got our, uh, our green crops over here. Got our wet or cold crops like uh, peas, lentils, bitter beech, whatnot over there. Of our flax right here. We'll end up moving that out probably over to right here and right here. So the trader's coming in with a couple of pigs. It's pretty cool. Let's see what she's got. Um, take some linen cloth from you. I mean, we don't really need to pay for those. straw over to here. <laughs> Actually, another thing we're going to do right now is we're going to build some, uh, some wells up right about here. Where else are we going to use them, right? So again, it kind of seems strange, but having them in these areas makes it so guys don't have to go anywhere near as far to get more water. And that does help in the long run. Also going to get rid of this now, and I'm going to start chopping down these trees because these are kind of useless to us also. Okay, and we haven't quite started chopping stuff from across the river. Once we get a few more of these trees here cleared out, I think we uh, probably should consider doing that. start preparing this right now. We'll build some storage stuff over here. Include some, uh, let's, let's go with the wood piles first. Okay, we'll go like that, and then we'll go rock piles. Like, as you can see, we're, we're doing really good for a workload now. Um, that's going a bit hardcore now. Uh, well, oh, oh, okay, all of our leather stuff is worn out, I guess, over time. Okay, and with this, let's go with stone. So, all right, we'll go peas right here. Okay, you know what? 
Let's. Well, you can leave the flax where it is right now. Okay, well. Let's uh, speed this bitch up. Oh, another thing actually is set up right now. So we're going to be building a stone circle. It's spiritual, but you know, it's like, you know, look at the side. Oh. Ooh. That's a really good spot for it there, right, Tim? Okay. I still don't have flint lines yet, do I? Oh, we're still gonna have to. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to set this up here. Once we get metallurgy, though, we don't really need flint anymore. We can still gather that. You know, where's the six nearest ones for this? thing that we have to make later. We'll uh, find some closer ones for that. Okay. Oh, it's really just that much easier to go lay logs down there, huh? Okay, I think we're gonna have to start cutting over here. So we're gonna have to start putting stuff up there. <laughs> All right. enough to move on to the next level of uh, everything, but oh, get rid of that. Ooh. The value of these drops considerably in just the next little bit too, so might want to get rid of some of these spears and not get rid of those. screen grab. I mean, you know, if I was feeling bad and I saw, like, some stick with four skulls on it, I wouldn't be like, hey, you know what? I feel pretty good now, now that you mention it. But, uh, that's just me. Okay, well, that's done. So, we're gonna go into Cop Rage now. Okay, and this will require us to do t several things. Cancel construction on those. Cancel construction on that one also. Okay. And we're going to build our first copper mine right here. And we'll build the second one right over here. And 
wait till that flax is gone. And, um... Well, well, well. What to do next? Um, okay, I know we can go like that with that one. Just for now. I'll remove all this flax from here. Leave those other ones down there. Cycle all those. Oh, shit. There's only four of you fuckers here? God damn. You must really think low of me. No, I don't want anybody dying here. Oh man, you know, I'm leaving all that shit on the fucking... That shit on the fucking table right there. is almost done now, so that's pretty awesome. Um, Just going on here. We could probably even use more than that, but for now we'll just deal with that as is. Um. Now I gotta worry about building uh, all this stuff here, like the charcoal pit. And the metallurgy thing. So actually, we're gonna build this right here. And that way it's gonna be between places it needs to be. Yeah, we'll put that right there. And these two will go one. Build our bloomer things, our pit furnace. There's a bloomery afterwards, right? Okay, and um, once these are gone, we'll put a rock thing there. And then I was thinking we could put our metal smiths. One, two, like that. I don't know, we'll put another couple storage tents or storage things around here. 
and uh, I mean, we still have to have the yeah. Okay, uh, there we go. These are ten each now. Twenty for the next next thing. Oh, forgot to mark that. We've gone up to the next generation. Okay, now the workshop, you want to set that to be continuous build, this to be continuous build, and this to be continuous build. At least for now. Um, I'm going to up the fishing thing to 25 so that we get a bunch of extras because we can trade those. Once again, having good stuff to trade is pretty awesome. Um, Alright. Ah, you look like you're really tired. Hmm, let's see if there's any animals we can, uh, grab. Oh, shit, yeah, I need to set out. Now, from this point on, you really only need two or three of the, um, skin dryer things. So, you know, I got rid of them there. I'm going to put just a couple back right here. No, one, two, three. Like later on, we'll put like a you know bakery or a oven here and stuff like that. Uh, maybe the brewery also. Um, yeah, you want to kind of keep your granaries near the food that you're going to be grabbing because it's uh, really helpful to just be able to have your the guys come from the farm and and put the stuff right in. So. Yeah, you want to keep cutting back until you get uh, trees, because once you have trees that you can plant there, the advantage of fruit trees is you can have your kids go grab them instead of uh, the adults, so it makes it just that much easier to uh, uh, to go harvest it. Although it goes bad faster than the pulses, your kids can't grab pulses, so there's that. Okay, so I'm gonna build. Um oh shit. Realized I got to do something here with this. Because, okay, this is now useless to us. So, we're going to remove work area. We're going to cancel people from gathering flint there. And, uh, cancel task, gather flint. Because we don't need that shit anymore. We, frankly, don't even have anything to build with that at this time. So, now that that's gone, um,. Yeah, and I think both those are good. Okay, cool. Um, what? This is harvesting one thing. Okay, you know what? We're going to add a work area here. Um, well, that one's already on most of this. You know what? We'll just remove it. Because who needs that anymore? This thing, what? It's grabbing a couple of blueberries. Yeah, that's no big deal. Move that. Another question is, uh, wait, we got enough. So what do we want? Um, we're not even going to be building any fruit trees for a while. Might as well go cattle. 
guess we find any cattle to, to grab. Up the game speed now again. Keep going. Jeez, how long has it been so far? Uh, so we've been on almost three hours. Pretty far in the game now. Our settlement's coming along really good. So. You know, if we can get done planting real quick, I'm going to send them over here to kill bunch of these guys. Um, there she is. The traitor. Okay. That's the kind of shit we need there. And we'll grab that also. So this stuff's still worth something. But you might as well start getting rid of it now because we're going to get better stuff in just a bit. And this stuff will become worthless. So, oh, flint we do not need any of, so we can just toss all of that right now. I think that's uh, about as good as that's getting. So, okay, we got plenty of, uh, plenty of extra winter stuff. And, uh, damn, they're just going out there and fucking giving her, eh? Two new humans joined the settlement. You know, we're, we're getting pretty close to, uh... I'm pretty close to running out of space now. We're gonna need at least three, uh, three segments like this. So what we're going to do here is, uh, we probably don't need that many. Okay, we'll grab this many right here. We're going to go try to kill, start with this guy, and then we'll deal with the other guys, because they're going to the river, right? Yeah, they're going to the river. Don't even notice that guy fishing. Well, the goats did. The goats saw him. a shitload of fucking uh, leather that we need desperately Okay, there we go. 
Went through there like fucking locusts, killed everything. But yeah, that'll get us a shitload of leather, which is uh, exactly what we need. Um, still don't need fruit trees yet, so I'm gonna do donkeys next. Um, I'm gonna change a resource limit here and uh, up the amount of tannin. I can get to 50, because we'll end up using that for sure. Just look at all this stuff here. Yeah, that's about right. No, that's not. Ah, oh, that's nothing anymore. Might as well up that to 50 also. Flax right here. Okay. No, we're gonna plant more flax right across from here. Okay, yeah. So that'll be our flax, flax places next time. this out and we'll be able to put more stuff in here. So we'll probably put some houses here and some houses down here. And, uh, yeah. Actually, we're gonna have to build a residence. No, not a tent. Oh, no. Oh, I have to wait till that flax is gone. Oh, won't we? <coughs> hmm. I mean, ain't shit going in there yet. Oh, shit. Do that. Wow. I just try not to keep rocks in these things, because that way the miners bring it all over here and deal with it from there. Hmm, grab a bit of copper. First donkey. Yeah, we'll grab a donkey. Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll just grab the copper. Go fast now. Oh, so a couple of pigs to tame. Hunting for baby goats and whatnot. There's a bison there. Oh, baby goats. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Now we got some donkeys. They are quite useful as when you get the wheel carts, you can carry so much shit in those. And, uh, yeah. It helps out quite a bit. That's flax there, that's flax there. Oh, come on. Oh. You, really, you old fart? You got that fucking tired right there? You're like, oh, no, no, I'm not, not gonna harvest the flax. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, sweet. Yep, there we go. A couple of cows to grab. A cow to grab right there. Awesome. You just needed a bunch of cows. linen cloth copper ore okay 422 what can I trade you for that oh bone harpoons don't need those anymore see we got a bunch of extra linen that's really good for uh, for trading and shit hmm oh we don't have 96 people Trade bows in. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to trade too much food, though. Um, bones are still worth that much? Okay, cool. I'll we'll trade those. Okay, I think... I think we're good there. that and then we'll save up for uh, Bronze Age smelting. And I'll remember to actually mark it this time. So we got flax there now. Gather a bunch of sticks here. So these are the high priority things now. Start running out of those. Okay. Got 19 sledges. Actually, gonna up the 
resource limit on that. Say 40. Say 20 of those. Uh, yeah, I feel like 10 of those would be good enough to know. Whenever it is we get to them. Oh. I'm sure they'll start, uh... extra sticks there. Well, how much? Uh, we got 33 tannin. I'm going to need to set up new uh, tanning work areas. So I'm going to move this over here. Uh, yeah, I'll move that there for now. And I thought there was another one right here. Yes, there is. And um, this I'll move just a bit over this way. It should still be good for a while. Ooh. Oh, more cattle. No, those are deers, so fuck them. Yeah, I know we're low on food. Okay, we've got to expand that one when I put it in. Put that there. that kind of thing right here-ish. Oh, I'll just cut these down for now. Okay. Ugh. anymore. Oh. 
Got, oh, fuck yeah, eat leather. I'll take that. Food, so I'll grab that. And those. Okay, now what do you want for that? Want axe, kind of useless. Fishing rod. I'm going to make an excess of them. Bone. Don't need. No, I can take that out. Go, won't, won't. No. Hmm. I'll say that's good right there. Started building those yet? Well, I guess there's that one there. go full speed. Okay, you know, we're not doing bad for uh, stuff anymore like that. So. No people joined? Okay. Oh man, there's like seven of them now. Uh, well, yeah, you know what? Gotta do it. Oh, dude! What are you doing? You fucking idiot! <laughs> 